Welcome to the Heidelberg Engineering Academy. I'm Jocelyn Gageway, and I'll be moderating today's session. Please note that your phone lines have been muted to prevent any feedback. If you have questions during the presentation, please use the embedded chat feature at any point. Topical questions will be addressed at the end if there is time, otherwise they'll be addressed by chat or email. With that, I'd like to present today's presentation using the Spectralis Ultra Wide Field Lens. Acquire and save all pre-angiography images. Instruct the patient to sit back. Adjust the focus settings to plus 45 diopters. Click the power button to turn off the laser. Remove the current lens by turning it 50 degrees counterclockwise. Place the lens in the wooden box for safe storage. Holding the ultra-wide field lens securely, insert it into the camera body. Make sure the red dot is upwards at 12 o'clock. Turn the lens clockwise until it clicks. Turn the safety lock until it tightens against the dovetail. Turn the laser on using the power button. Adjust the focus back to Plano or zero diopters. Please note, the Ultra Wide Field Module adjusts focus in two diopter steps. Due to the increased size and close working distance of the Ultra Wide Field Lens, Heidelberg Engineering recommends disinfecting the front lens mount with a disposable alcohol-infused wipe between each patient. Be sure to inspect the optical surface for any smudges or dirt as well. The surface of the lens can be cleaned using a microfiber cloth. For the best results, the full manufacturer's approved dosage of the dye may be used at the doctor's discretion. Align the patient in the headrest. For the best view on patients with deep set eyes or other prominent features, it may be necessary to tilt the head sideways and have the patient look directly into the lens. Make sure the acquisition module settings are at high resolution and manual brightness. Move the filter wheel to the P position to place the ultra wide field module in XPIR mode. Align the pupil in the center of the live image window. Push the base of the camera forward, filling the frame with the image of the retina. The image should be evenly illuminated side to side and top to bottom. Use the joystick adjustments to achieve even brightness and the gain control dial to adjust exposure. Use the focus knob to adjust for optimum sharpness. As this is a confocal system, the brightest point will also be the sharpest. After the image is focused, readjust exposure, activate art, and acquire the XPIR image. Next, turn the filter wheel to the A position to enter the angiography module. Acquire the angiogram per the practice protocol. The entire procedure can be captured in the ultra-wide field module using the magnified settings to view the posterior pole, or the early phase can be acquired using the 30 or 55 degree lens, switching to ultra-wide field for the mid and late phases of the angiogram. With the ultra-wide field lens attached, the touch panel will allow magnified images of 68 and 51 degrees as well as the standard 102 degrees. All still images after the initial transit should be acquired with ART activated in order to eliminate speckle noise and increase image contrast and quality. High speed movies and multi-mode imaging can also be acquired using the ultra wide field module as with all spectralis lenses. This technique will allow for later playback of the blood flow at the moment of the dye injection. Thank you for attending this session of the Heidelberg Engineering Academy. This course has been recorded and will be viewable on heidelbergengineering.com. From all of us here at Heidelberg Engineering, thank you again and have a wonderful day.